Very simply, John, we're looking at that fourth quarter revenue line, the very top line. We're looking at the miss on expectations. Investors expected them to bring in $18.7 billion. They brought in 17.4. So that is the top line number there. Uh, we are making it through the numbers here, but even returns on equity as well. You're looking at the fourth quarter come in just a little above expectations, or sorry, below expectations. They're negative. I'm sorry, in the fourth quarter. Uh, they were expected to be positive. So again, this was a kitchen sink quarter. Investors had known that about Citigroup. So what we're going to see for the next couple of hours is a few things. What are all of the toss, costs tied to restructuring? Uh, we already know there were costs tied to uh, extraneous items in different parts of the world, parts that are largely exiting. This is Jane Fraser's year. This is the year she has to bring the turnaround story to Wall Street. And remember, wow. we have to see what that is in terms of um, those markets and investment banking businesses, in particular core Wall Street. The fourth quarter was very disappointing. Not my words, the words of Jane Fraser, the city CEO. The fourth quarter was very disappointing. Revenue coming in at 17.4. 4 billion, the estimate 18.68. Shnali, as you know, investors won't pay as much attention to this because these are yesterday's results. We want tomorrow's off the back of the changes they've made. What kind of changes have been made in the last 12 months and how quickly will we see the results of them? Project Bora Bora. This is the project that they have that is eliminating layers and layers of management. Jane Fraser, we know, inherited a bank that was bloated, that had regulatory issues and that had many layers of bureaucracy that she is now taking an absolute axe to. Investors have largely rewarded her moves to do that, though it'll take a minute to get through all those layers of management. Now, again, that is the fixing story, but where does she get competitive in those Wall Street businesses? And also, I'm looking at cost of credit as well. Remember, Citigroup's cost of credit rose to $3.5 billion in the fourth quarter. Right. It was $1.8 the year ago. I, I, to her great credit, she puts the ugly ratios up top. Return on common equity is single digit 5% versus 13, 14, 15 percent for more successful shops. Let me ask you this in six months or in six years, is Citigroup still a big bank? Yes, but you know, even just this morning, I was taking a look at just how much J.P. Morgan has broken away from the pack. What is big anymore? I think in 10 years, you have to ask yourself, are these six banks as competitive with each other as they are today when you see the biggest of the big breaking away? Citigroup has won on being a big global bank. The most profitable and exciting, if you will, business they have is their treasury and trade solutions business, which really makes its money from global internationals. But as we've seen from the losses they've taken uh, tied to Argentina's currency fluctuations, uh, operations that were tied to Russia, again, largely businesses that they've exited, it's hard to be a big global bank.